And then secondly on CPI, numbers came out today that show a monthly decline in real wages as well as an annual decline in real wages. Administration officials have said growing real wages is an important marker for the economy. How do you view the setback in today's numbers? So a couple of things. I do want to say that uh, what we have said many times is that we believe that the President's, um, the President's economic plan is indeed working, and it's giving people a little breathing room. You heard me say this at the top, how, the, how we have seen, uh, um, you know, how we have seen um, the plan actually working. We see, we're seeing inflation moderate uh, just a bit, uh, as we've seen the last couple of months, and that is important. And the way that we see things moving forward, we believe uh, that it is uh, uh, that is important to continue to work, to, fin to finish the work that the President has started. And that's what you heard from him uh, very uh, explicitly uh, just, uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, when just last week, when he talked about uh, the State of the Union and how he sees, every, how he sees uh, the economy and the progress moving forward. So two things on the wages, uh, as you're asking me specifically on those pieces as it relates to the data. Uh, real wages are indeed up over the last seven months, which is important since trends are always more useful than one month's data, as you know. I know this is something that you follow closely, Josh. And the second thing is real weekly earnings are up over the last month. So we continue to make progress fighting inflation. As the President said earlier today, his unwavering uh, focus is on continuing to lower costs for families, and that's going to be our focus. We're going to continue to do that. That's why the Inflation Reduction Act is so critical, is so important, uh, and uh, and we're going to continue to fight for the American people and meet them where they are. Good. 